one fine day when Bob was at Silk Boat stuck in traffic jam as usual, suddenly Bob had his big idea. And Bob knew he could make it. And this was his thing. So he got to office that evening, put on his papers, walked straight home with a big smile on his face because he had the next big idea. So one thing about entrepreneurs in general is that most of today's entrepreneurs are solving first world rich kid problems, right? And Bob was no different. So basically Bob, so Bob's brilliant idea was this. He had noticed a lot of school kids around. And well, he figured out that most school kids don't know how to tie their laces. So Bob's big idea was that he's going to teach kids on how to tie their shoelaces. And he knew this was the biggest chance that he had in his life. So with that said, let's go about and say Bob started building his product, right? Now, phase one, as we all know, research. It's very critical. And Bob knew this as well. Come on, he's an entrepreneur, right? So Bob went, so Bob's primary audience were mostly school kids, possibly college kids. So he went to his target audience, hopefully trying to validate his idea. So he went, he met a few school kids, asked them a couple of questions. You know, your standard, like, do you know how to tie a shoelace? Or what would help you, you know, to make your shoelace look cool? Because that's what kids want these days, right? So he went about, and he got a couple of great suggestions as well. One kid was like, I think it'll be fantastic if I can get Nike shoelaces, you know, if I could buy Nike shoelaces on your website. And Bob was like, yeah, that's, that's probably a great idea. And another kid was way too lazy for his own good. He's like, I wish I could deliver shoelaces. You know, I wish you could deliver shoelaces to my place. Bob's like, that's a great idea too. So with all his feedback gotten and his idea sort of validated, knowing that kids would generally like, you know, learning how to tie the shoelaces, Bob went back home a happy man. Now, the next step. Well, before we go to the next step, there's a small Dilbert comic that I found about, you know, research. I hope you all get it though. <laughs> Everyone, good? So basically, Dogbert is asking for his social security number, bank pin, all of that. And well, poverty rates, definitely 100%. Now, the next step. So phase one is done. Bob has all his data. His idea is validated. Next step is to analyze his data. Now, this is a pretty crucial step, because as we all know, you can build a whole different set of things. But building what works is a skill that not many people have. So Bob sat down, he's trying to analyze his data, whatever data he has. And he has some amazing feedback. He has some great ideas of his own. And now Bob is finding it really difficult to narrow it down to understanding what it is that he should be building. And Bob looks at all his suggestions, and everything looks great. And Bob is just wondering, what do I do? I can't leave that idea, and I can't not have a marketplace on my website, because that's great as well. So Bob is wondering and wondering and wondering. And, and then Bob decides, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to incorporate all those ideas on my website, and I think it's possible. Anyway, isn't that what Facebook and Google did as well? Is what Bob thought. And yeah, so he started building. He has all these ideas. Now he has a set of features. He made his whole high priority feature list. And he has all of this written down, right? Bob definitely wishes he could have him for some analysis. Not really, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so next, next step. Now again, another important crucial step, right? You design and you build. You can't possibly design or build a startup by yourself. So what Bob did, Bob did the smartest thing. He went, he found some friends, you know, who could code the website for him. Then he got a bunch of friends in, and one of them was curious enough to ask, because obviously programmers are really lazy, right? So one of them was curious enough to ask, Bob, should I build all these features? I mean, come on, you got a whole bunch of them. Is it really required? And Bob's like, yeah, yeah, I've got this sorted. Because I did my whole research, I, got, I went to students, I spoke to them, and this is exactly what they want. And the programmer didn't really have much to oppose. So well, he went ahead, he built everything, and then there's a really crucial phase, right? Because it, it, now it's been like, let's forward, fast forward a couple of months, and now Bob is like really frustrated because the product isn't really coming up. It's kind of in that stage where he's really passionate, but he can't get himself to do it, finish it rather. 
So Bob's really extremely frustrated at this point of time. So Bob goes back and decides to have a look at his feature list, right? And well, that's Bob's feature list. He wanted, just remember, he wanted to build an app which could teach people to tie shoelaces, and that's what he wants. He has tutorials, check, login page, check, videos there, option to buy lace, shoes, home delivery, a retail outlet. I have no idea what Bob was thinking, right? So he looks at this and he's like, yeah, we can get this done. So Bob goes back home, works on it real hard, really passionate about this, and this is what he's been waiting to do all his life, right? And then the big day. This is the day that Bob has been waiting for. He wants to show his product to everyone out there. This is what he's dreamed of. He can already imagine himself swimming in gold coins, like, you know, Uncle Scrooge, if any of you remember cartoons. So, yeah, Bob is really excited. He is, he can't wait. He's put all his blood, sweat, tears, money, everything to get this done. So, for the next couple of slides, since you've all been really quiet so far, I want you to do something. I want, so I put on the next slide, and I want you all to stand, and when every single person has read it, I'll put on the next slide. So only when you finish reading the slide, you stand up, and then I'll, I'll change the slide, and once you finish reading that slide, you can sit back down, right? So this is a small game. I'm guessing everyone's really lazy after lunch. It's a good lunch. So I'm gonna be really quiet. Everyone be really quiet. It's a nice game. And that was Bob's website. If you can tell me where you can find a place to learn how to tie shoelaces, I'd appreciate that. So that's what Bob ended up building. After all his research, analysis, everything, design, and this is what he comes up with. And then, that is when Bob realized that less is more. Thank you. Any questions?